Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Shilu's Updates. Today we are going to learn a very interesting topic and it's about Floor Space Index or it can be also called as FSI. Its another name is FAR that is Floor Area Ratio or it can be also called as Site Ratio. This Floor Space Index has been used in the field of real estate. However, we the civil engineers, contractors, builders must know about this floor space index. What is floor space index? Before learning in detail, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So that you can get my future updates very easily. Okay, now what does mean by floor space index? Its definition is the ratio of build-up area to the plot area, that is land area. I will explain in simple words. For example, if you have a land and you have decided to construct a house or any building or any industrial type buildings or any commercial building. For that, the government has fixed a size or area. Only within that size or area, that house should be constructed are that industrial building should be constructed on that land. If it goes beyond that, we have to pay for the government. And that is called premium floor space index. First, I will explain what is mean by floor space index. Then at last, I will explain you what is mean by premium floor space index. Uh, there is a little difference between floor space index and premium floor space index. Generally, the floor space index has been fixed by the municipality corporation. As per development control regulation, this floor space index has been fixed based upon the population of that place. According to the, according to the population, the floor space index has been fixed in your area. Mainly, floor space index has been regulated by DTCP, that is Directorate of Town and Country Planning Department. But this FSA is based on National Building Code. This DTCP, that is Directorate of Town and Country Planning Department, will regulate the FSI value based on city zone, then type of building, and also considering the other amenities. Construction companies and builders can only build up to this FSA value which has been imposed by the government. How this FSA value has been used in construction? Consider you have a land of 2000 square feet area and you want to construct a building over that land. The first thing you need to know is what type of building you are going to construct on that land. Whether, whether it is an ordinary building or a special building or multi-story building. For ordinary buildings, it can be up to two floors. For special building, it can be more than two floors but should not exceed more than four floors. For multi-story building, it can be exceed four floors. Based on your building type, find out your zone floor space index value, which you can find on your state government's official website. It has been given clearly on your state government's official website. Generally, different buildings have different floor space index value. Sometimes for the same location also, floor space index value differs. For um, ordinary building, it may be some other value and for special building, it can be some other value. So, for, for each building, it differs. For example, let's say your zone floor space index value is 1.5 for special buildings. Uh, and I have told you already that consider a land of 2000 square feet area. Now you can build up to 3000 square feet area. How this 3000 square feet area came here? You have to multiply the your plot area with this floor space index value. So plot area is 2000 square feet area into 1.5. You will get the answer 3000 square feet area. So in this way you have to calculate your build up area. It can be either 2 floors of 1500 square feet or it can be 3 floors of 1000 square feet. You can build according to your convenience but it should not affect other municipal rules. What are all the other municipal rules you have to follow? Minimum plot extent area, front, back, side and rear setback, 
OSR and parking area. OSR means open space ratio. Now let us see about premium floor space index in detail. Regardless of zone, location and building type, there are some allowable deviations. If you need to extend the allowable floor space index, you have to pay premium fee to the government. To avail this FSI, that is floor space index, the affecting road of the land must be at least 30 feet. For 30 feet to 40 feet road width, they have given us 20% premium floor space index. For 40 feet to 60 feet road width, they have given us 30% premium floor space index. And for more than 60 feet road width, they have given us 40% premium floor space index. For example, if you have a land of about 1000 square feet, which is located near the road width of about 30 feet, where the normal FSI is 1.5, then you can make avail of premium FSI 20% by paying the premium fee. Now, how to calculate this build-up area for about 1000 square feet area? Build-up area is equal to this 1000 square feet, that is your plot area into normal FSA value into how much percentage premium FSA. You have to multiply these three values. So, you have to multiply 1000 into normal FSA value. I have told you as 1.5 into this uh, premium FSA percentage. For 30 feet road width, you have to take us as 20 percentage premium FSA. When you solve this, you get the answer as 1800 square feet. For a city or country, this FSA value or FAR value or this site ratio has been updated from time to time and it depends on growth of each city, improved land value, power facility, water facility and other amenities. Uh, if you want to calculate this flow space index value, you have to check it down in your state government's official website. I hope this video helps you. In future also, I will update many useful videos like this. If you like this video, kindly like this video, share and subscribe my channel and do support Shido's updates. Thank you.